solving two-step equations or multi-step equations. So what you do see is like uh, you see when you solve the problem, you have to use one or two steps to get the answer out of the problem. Like for example, 3.9c plus 19.95 equals 63.40. So there are multiple things you have. It. So in this one, first of all, please keep an eye on here. So in this one, first of all, we have, this is the letter C, that's a variable is right here. And then we have a constant and also a number here. So first of all, what you do is it's $19.95 is added. That's what you want to take it out. And then you can go to the next step to the where the variable is. So we're going to look at a question so we can do step by step and it makes more sense to you. When you do the work on the two step equations, you always first keep an eye on it. Where is my variable is? Okay, so always look at for the variables. So I see the variable right here. The X is right here. That's what you want to isolate. That's what you want to find the value. So the next to the X, you have multiplied by two. And then also you have a six up here. So first of all, you got to take care of the six. Anything next to the X, you keep it for the last. Okay, keep that in mind. Anything next to the X, you keep it for the last. But a little bit away from the X, like six plus six and minus six, you got to take care of them first. Okay, so let's go ahead and then take away the six here. So just like a balance, if you take away six here, and then I have to take away the other side, keep it balanced. So I'm going to take away six here too. Okay, you understand that? So whatever I do one side, I have to do the other side. So I'm going to subtract these two, then I get four, which is negative two X. So the four is negative two X, and now I see this is negative two. Negative two is in there. So what does that mean? It's like you divide, you do the opposite, just like in the last class. If there's a multiply, you're going to divide. So you divide by negative two, so to get the X alone. If I divide it by here, and then I need to divide the other side. It costs this up, so I can get negative two, it's x value. So to get the answer, we did it multiple steps. So as we go on, we see like we're gonna do more steps to get the x value. And then we can check the answer. Checking is simple. What do we need to do? 10 equals six minus two x. We're gonna replace our x with the in the question i'm going to replace the x with that so i'm going to get 10 equal 6 minus 2 times negative 2. okay in place of x i replace negative 2. now let's do the pandas operations i see the multiplication first let's do that first so i'm going to multiply these two i'm going to get negative times negative is positive 4 and then i'm going to take negative I'll add 4, 6 plus 4, that is 10, and also here I have 10. So if both 10s are equal, that means it's good to go. Whatever the answer we got, we did it correctly. Okay, so that is called the solution, checking solution. One, solve the equation and check your solution or check your answer. Yeah. Okay, so pretty quickly, you take, since it is minus 4, I'm going to add 4 here, add 4 here. Then again, 7x equals 7, and then 7 goes, like 7 times 1 gives you 7, that's x is 1. And you can check the solution also. So out of these two-step equations, the fractions are the important questions, because that's what you will see in the test. Because the easy questions, they're not going to give you anyway. So the tough questions are the fractions. So I want you to guys eyes on the screen. I'm going to show you the fractions the easiest way. So you can see like, oh, the fractions are easy. I can do any type of fraction. So eyes on the screen. So I'm gonna write the question, Q over 15 minus one over five equals three fifths. Okay, please pay attention to it. So when I look at this question, first pay attention to the denominators. What are the denominators here? I have 15, five, and five. What's a common denominator? Common denominator 15. that's right so the common denominator is 15 in this case because 
If you can find the LCM, get the 50. Common denominator is 50. That's what you need to keep. Once you get the common denominator, this problem is very easy. So what you need to do, pay close attention. I see the 15 here. I don't need to do anything. But here I see 5. I need 15, so I need to multiply by 3. Whatever I'm missing, I need to multiply by. But if I multiply the denominator, I need to multiply the numerator too. Same thing here, I'm missing 3, and I multiply by 3, so that way I can get the 15. So I'm going to write the question one more time. So now this question becomes q over 15 minus 3 over 15 equal 9 over 15. Now I see like all the denominators are the same. And once you see that denominators are the same, simply drop those denominators. You don't need to do anything with that denominator. Now this question is going to be q minus 3 equal 9. It becomes so simple question. Way easy. Now you see that your variable is q and we have minus 3. So you do the opposite. Add 3 here, 3 here. So you're done. So q equal 12. That's it. And that's how you deal with the fractions. So, so we're going to spend some time on this one. Let's do one together. So in this question, I'm going to write it one more time. So write it a little bigger. 2x over 5 minus 1 half equals 5. Now 5 means 5 over 1. Okay. Now what's a common denominator, you think? 10. Okay, so we need to get that 10 here. So I'm going to multiply by this 2. And then I want a 10 here, so I'm going to multiply by 5 here. Since I want a 10 here, so I'm going to multiply by 10 here. See that? Now, I'm going to write one more time. But once you get used to it, you don't need to write. This is 4x over 10. 5 over 10 equals 50 over 10. Now I see the same denominator at the bottom. Get rid of that. Then you get the 4x minus 5 equals 50. No fraction. So then you follow the same procedure, simple procedure. So add 5 here. <coughs> That's going to be 4x is 55. And then divided by 4 on both sides, x equals 55 over 4. So to get the 15 everywhere, I'm going to multiply this one by 3. This is 5, yep. And this is also a 5. And now I got, this is 3n over 15 minus 5 over 15 equal 40 over 15. So you can cross this out. Yeah. And then you get 3n. I did 5 plus 5 and then I added 5 to the 4. That's right. And then the 3n, so then I put, uh, I divided 40 the n. Right, so it's going to be 3n is 15. 50 over 3. Good, very good. Now you got the fractions, pretty good. Excellent. Did that right. So I was calculated this one here already, and then I just kind of followed the next step. Because most of the times when I teach the essay to me, yeah, we'll check that in a minute. Let's see. So first this one, yes, this is a 40. That's 40. So that's 45. So that's 45 over 3. That's 15. Good. Because when you do these type of questions, you want to skip the steps. But if you're doing it in the school, you need to write the steps. That's the main difference. Okay. All right, so this one, the next one we're going to look at a, this is a comp, not complicated. We have a couple multiple steps in this. And is 8x equals 13. Now, eyes on this question first. Let me explain it to you guys, and then you can work on this. So I see the 6x plus 3 and minus 8x is 13. Now I look for the like terms. See, on the one side only, I have a like terms. So I want to look for the like terms. I see this is... 6x and negative 8x. We learned in the last unit about the combining like terms. That's what we're going to apply here. So I'm going to put these together. 
then I get negative 2x plus 3 equals 13. Now it is simple. Since it is my variable is right here, plus 3 is here, so I'm going to take away 3 on the both sides. Cross this out, and then I'm left with 2x equals 6 in, and then divided by negative 2, negative 5. Okay. Okay. Now, in this one, obviously, you look for the like terms, this and this. Okay. So that gives you negative 6a plus 3 equal 8. Agree, Avi? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, take away 3 on both sides. Yeah. Negative 6a equal 5 and divided by negative 6. Negative six. That's it. Oh. Oops. Oh wait, no, I did the opposite. I, so yeah. Oh wait, I I, I, I forgot there was to be. See parentheses, you distribute it. So that's gonna be negative six plus two d equals four. And then you add six on both sides. Two d is gonna be ten. And then d is five. You see, as I say, go on, I started skipping steps. That's what we need to get practice out of it. Let's do a few more questions practice. Okay, once you're done with this practice question, so we're going to play some skill practice.